Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening and welcome if you're new. My name is Ona and in this video I'm going to be sharing some downloads and messages around the solstice of uh, June 2021. Okay, so this is like this is like super awesome activations that I'm getting. Um, I'm getting like twin flame stuff associated with it. They gave me a piece of art to show you, share with you as well as a mudra that can be used to help to support the energies of uh, this time. And so I'm going to first share with you um, kind of this, this little sketch that came through in my journal. You can see the solar disc here. And then there's this angelic figure, and then she's got three suns, one in the crown, and the heart, and the sacral area. And she's also got her hands in this mudra. Which, and um, I'll kind of tell you a little bit more about that later in the video. But for now, let's just start with what came through in my journal. And I'm just going to read this to you, and then we'll move on to the image, okay? So this is in response to my asking, please explain the energies of the upcoming June solstice of 2021. Open your heart. This is a time of solar influx, anointing the earth with golden radiant energy. This is the energy of joy. And you must be willing to receive it. Those who are willing to receive it will receive great blessings through this solar activation. Know that you are worthy to receive, that every human soul is worthy to receive. This is a blessing bestowed upon humanity for the great love that is held for you, for the powerful bastion of love that you are. All is love. Realizing this is a matter of coming into your truth, for in truth you yourself are love, and it is only through the forgetting and remembering that this love is catalyzed to ever greater expansion and expression of itself. Realize this, all is love. And as you realize this, as you allow it to sink deeper and deeper into your consciousness, deeper and deeper into your heart, you will begin to unlock levels of prosperity that have heretofore been unavailable on this planet. We say begin because in linear time it is a process. Understand that it will appear to take time, perhaps a lot of time, but know too that in consciousness the thought is complete. It is already there. How long it will take to manifest depends on how quickly you can bring yourselves to believe. Also know that things can happen very quickly. If you do not believe this, challenge yourself to expect miracles. See what unfolds when you do. And then I went on to, uh, actually, I love this because it's, they're talking about, it's through the forgetting and remembering that, that love is catalyzed to greater expansion and expression of itself. I really, really love that because this forgetting and remembering, it's this whole journey we're on, right? And it, it, it kind of sheds light on when they say all is love, they mean all of it, all of it. It's all part of the greater unfolding. So it's like being able to go through and witness everything that's happening and still be in that, that channel of love, right? That radiance. So then I asked them to please explain the meaning of this mudra, okay? And they said, you are expanding in consciousness. This is a victory mudra. Evolution on this planet is inevitable. This is a declaration of strength and also a powerful conduit of energy, receiving energy from above through the outstretched fingers and directing it down to earth through the downward pointing fingers. It will assist in holding to the center, anchoring your I am in the present moment. Okay, so I looked up this mudra because like I'm not an expert on mudras. They just sometimes show up in my artwork and <laughs> usually, you know, it means something. It always means something. So, uh, so I channeled that first and then I looked it up and it's called the Apana Mudra. And normally it's associated with detoxification and cleansing. So like, you know, clearing out your digestive system or just clearing your aura, anything like that. Um, and that really, I, I did a, I don't know if you caught my video, um, 
it was one of the videos on the, the eclipse season leading up to the solstice and they talked a lot about letting go, releasing, forgiving, especially the energy of forgiveness is all this release. Okay, so this is really, I think, very, very connected with that. Um, this is like a huge, huge, huge clearing that we were receiving on the planet at this time, this whole few weeks leading up to this solstice. Okay, and so just kind of keeping that in mind and be really, really gentle with yourself through this process. Because we, as we know, it's like anytime we have a major massive clearing, it can be <laughs> kind of challenging and chaotic sometimes. So, so really, really be the compassion is so huge, right? Um, with yourself and with others, right? And so even though the, the Apada Mudra is, is about... Um, it's about detoxification, but when I read on, I did find it also is a grounding, and it's it's a um, a, sh a, a mudra that is can be used for actually, especially if you're like angry or if you've got like a lot of fire energy or a lot of um, it just kind of <laughs> kind of uh, passionate energy or just just feeling like really um, kind of unbalanced it can be used to ground into balance. And I think that's the aspect of this mudra that the guides were were relaying to me. And kind of I'm getting the feeling this is really about the sacred fire and learning to be a master of, of the fire vibration, the fire energy. Um, the sacred fire is this, this will, this divine will, this um, kind of this energy of power right that that we can hold and to uh, you know remember that that fire energy can be very destructive but it can also be like this driving force and it also can be very very nourishing so if we think of uh, relating it to the twin flame energies the divine feminine solar would be this nourishing warm kind of energy here Versus like the divine masculine solar is this very kind of driving force, very powerful energy with the two coming together. It, it just is like, this is super, like lots and lots of power. And to be able to hold that energy and anchor it into the earth, that's what we're talking about with this sacred fire is tending the sacred fire, tending that sacred fire within. And, and you know, this is the energy that's going to help us to kind of, hold the fort to, um, you know, to, to uphold our own inner truth, right? To, um, withstand <laughs> anything that's trying to, um, kind of bring us down or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's maintaining that whole confidence and ability to just keep, stay radiant throughout whatever is happening okay um and so this is something that's really going to be needed in the months ahead so then they also told me about the the chakras what's happening with the chakras with this image here the heart crown and sacral chakras are highlighted because these are the energy centers being activated at this time connecting the divine masculine and divine feminine with the divine creative power the life force energy of the planet. This is a powerful surfacing of joy and it will be received with open hearts by some and with massive resistance and backlash by others who will try to extinguish the light for it is painful to them as it will force them to come face to face with their own karmic burden. Okay, so here's where I'm getting the twin flame activation. Okay, we're talking about the masculine. I think they were referring to that crown energy. The feminine referring to the, the heart activation. Although, obviously, there's, you know, there's there's masculine feminine in all chakras. But I, I'm kind of feeling like this is sort of like a divine masculine, divine feminine. And then in the sacral, this, this holy life force energy that's being activated like divine child, the divine um, conception. Okay, and so I, I'm really seeing this as, as twin flame. What I've been given to understand about twin flame energy is it's an energy. It's an energy of this this beautiful um, unity, right? This uniting, coming together. And 
it happens first within, right? So this balancing of the masculine and feminine and learning to harmonize those in order to bring forth, you know, greater uh, consciousness. <laughs> um, that's what it's about. And it, it's, it, it can happen within each and every one of us. For some of us, if it's on your soul path, that inner activation of the twin flame may open the door to a twin flame actual flesh and blood relationship um that I, that's not really necessary although it's beautiful when it happens um but you know just to to realize that the, the greater activation is that activation coming within and it feels like this is a really planetary activation of that twin flame energy and so for some it may actually uh, kind of uh, help to catalyze a, an actual twin flame union on the planet as well. Um, but, you know, just however that works out for you, it's the, 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 the internal uh, divine twin flame union that is, is like the really powerful thing, I think, to really focus on if that's kind of where you're at. So, and then lastly, the we're talking about, um, because they mentioned these three chakras, the crown, the heart, and the sacral as being ones that are really being activated right now. And they also say, holding stable in the other four major chakras is critical at this time for it, it will provide the stable framework needed for activation to take place. Okay, so it's really important to be working with all the chakras. Um, I've been instructed to pull cards to support each of these other four centers, the root, the solar, the throat, and the third eye through this uh, time of the um, solstice. But I'm going to be doing that in a second video. All right, so I hope that this has been helpful to you. I always um, really welcome your likes, your comments, and your, subscri your subscribes, but especially your comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your downloads around the solstice because remember i mean it's my dharma to share this with you but your own your own guidance is is so spot on okay so just tune into your own higher guidance as well and always really put that first okay so if anything that i have said doesn't resonate that's fine um you know but but really tune into your own guidance and um so with that said Thank you so much. I love you all and we'll catch you again soon.